All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let me see. There's a real serious uh, situation with ICE. In my opinion, needs to be dismantled and broken down and torn apart right now. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever side of the diaspora that you own, let me welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, DJ. Um, listen, y'all, you know, I wrote, read, I'm sorry, I read an article that really kind of disturbed me um, in terms of how black people are continuously being treated. Um, and the blatant disrespect that these people have for us who were once their um, uh, uh, just boot rubbers. Um, and to think that that behavior is still so prevalent today in fact of how they disrespect not only us, but themselves, their sub, uh, their uh, superiors, their leadership. Most of them are the first one, the main ones that run around here talking about patriot and American people, and we're doing this for the. Them are the main ones that you need to watch out for. Those are the main crooks, okay? And they'll stop at nothing to do what the hell they want to do. And so 10 years ago, again, when the FBI put out that memorandum or that footnote that the uh, FBI and the law enforcement agencies have been infiltrated by white supremacists, I'm more in line with what my brother said. No, they were already filled with white supremacists and senators and politicians and and what happens is we just had a surge. We have a surge of people that keep trying to get in that are normal, that try to normalize this game of uh, slave catchers that has been around for hundreds of years. Okay. Uh, and basically, I, I, I hate to say it like that, but that's where the mindset comes out from from their daily policing exploits. It comes directly out of the page book of um, overseeing and, um, uh, 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 again, uh, enslaved catchers, one-on-one. And this shit is just, it's just got to stop. And the only way it's going to stop is we got to stop it. It's a David and Goliath type of situation, all right? And that's basically what happens. All the people have to stand up against some of the people. And that's just that simple. Um, because this is a story at a glance I want to share with you. A hundred day that a hundred day moratorium of deportation flights imposed by the Biden administration was halted, um, making an exception for serious cases. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement deported at least 72 people to Haiti on February 7th, according to The Guardian. Haiti is in the midst of a political turmoil as the U.S. back Haitian president refuses to leave office. Does that sound familiar to you? This snake is gone all across the world and back, reaping his ugly head and his remnants of the white supremacy everywhere. It doesn't matter the face of the person that's in office. It's the elite, the supremacist mindset. Okay? Um, so now Joe Biden put a halt, said we're going to stop, uh, 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 put a halt for 100 days uh, um, on these deportations so I can get a grip. 
And these fools are sending people babies. They're picking on children. They're picking on babies. In fact, it's so egregious that these assholes sent somebody, to, you know, and no telling how many, to Haiti who's never even been there before. Come on, that's just not where you belong. They're doing the same thing in the Dominican Republic and running people out that they consider black. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? There's an assault on us, and it's been assault on black bodies. Period. So when the black man and the and the black woman wake up, you know, and see this this shit, listen, it's the same thing we suffer with right now today. The disrespect, the same energy that allowed Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> to have those white boys storm the Capitol and nothing happens from it. Nothing. So y'all already know we're on a press list of something really, really major. Um, Two flights left from Texas to Port-au-Prince, Haiti, where the U.S.-backed Haitian president has refused to leave office, triggering a political crisis. Ain't that what Donald Trump did. On January 26th, the U.S. District Judge Drew Tipton, a Trump appointee, placed a 14-day injunction against the moratorium, in which he later extended to February 23rd, based on a federal contract with the state made by the Trump administration. America is changing <laughs> faster than ever, y'all. It just really is. And anyway, listen, I fear for kids being sent to the middle of this uprising as it's as if there is a house burning. And instead of taking the people out for their own safety, the United States is sending defenseless babies into a burning house. Geraldine Joseph, executive director of immigration support group in the Haiti Bridge Alliance told the Guardian. Immigration watchdog witness at the border has estimated that the agency has charted 52 flights since inauguration day and 81 since the beginning of the year as the Trump administration began speeding up these deportations and those assassinations and those people on uh, death row. I mean, look at, you know, look at this. Look at this. Look at the evilness of this guy. Y'all want to know why it was so adamant to remove him from office? No, I'm not saying that every president. I'm going to keep on reiterating this. I'm not saying that he was the first worst racist president. What I'm saying is he had a mental illness that that put him in line with a dictator like Hitler. And if you can't see that, I feel sorry for you. You, 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 you part of the problem. If you can't see that we're still in line, we're still in line to watch the exact same thing that happened in Germany happen right here in the United States. Hell, all those doctors were over here. What you think happened to all of them when Hitler did that? Most of them came over here. All those eugenicists and all those people, they came right here and worked their same magic using black people from the Tuskegee experiments and every damn thing else. That's who these people are. That's who these people are. ICE has been criticized for breaking with the Biden administration, whose appointee, Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Moyacas, was confirmed on February 2nd. Days later, the agency canceled a deportation flight to West Africa because allegations of brutality by ICE agents. And that was the reason why they canceled that flight. And that's according to The Guardian. This is 
um, egregious. It's crazy. ICE needs to be dismantled right now. They are deporting babies and children and sending them into a burning house, you might as well say. Some of these children don't even belong in Haiti. Some of these people, that they, they don't even belong. They've never been there in their life. And I guess they say, well, they black. Just like they lumped us all together during the slave trade. You had Warloff. You had Mandika. You had all these different nations, and you put them right there. Well, they're black. This needs to be addressed. And I want to know what y'all think. Have y'all heard? some more about this. I mean, have you heard about this, that this is really going on, that these people are deporting like crazy, just defying Joe Biden's 100-day order. They just defying it. We don't give a damn what you say, Joe Biden. We're doing what we want to do anyway. I think it's horrible. Somebody got to talk about it. Somebody got to say something about it. They do anything they want to do to black people, black babies, black children. Don't let them beat out the instinct that the Almighty put in you. The instinct to kill for your babies. That being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe. And share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.